What's up guys, it's me the Dolphin Attic and welcome to another Pokemon Omega Ruby now Sapphire Wi-Fi Battle. It's been a while since I uploaded one, but today it's a relatively special Wi-Fi battle because I am battling one of my um, good friends from YouTube, Mr. Hardy Tack, previously known as Hardy Tack Yo-Yo. Um, I say good friends. We've been acquaintances for a while in this Pokemon community because I was actually his first Wi-Fi battle he ever uploaded to his channel. And then he just kind of took off and became, like, YouTube Pokemon famous. So, yeah, it's nice he's still talking to me, really. We still chat on Skype occasionally. But anyway, basically, he wanted me to be, take his, um, or made me to take his Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi battle video virginity. And so, we're going to have an NU battle. Hooray! Because, well, NU and PU is funny. He said a lot of his Pokemon are PU, um, and he said I could bring NU. Because I was making, a, I made a whole box of PU Pokemon, nearly, like about 28 Pokemon. Then my mum managed to trip the electricity Four times because she was the toaster would obviously like the fuse had gone in the toaster or something and so the first time she wasn't to know it was going to happen so I was like fair enough second time it done it again I was like all right right fair enough you didn't know it's gonna do it again she then done it twice more and I was like mum you can see the toaster's broken but anyway Hardy has accepted so yeah this is like the biggest person I fight uh, for in a while now I don't know what Hardy's background knowledge of uh, like competitive is I know he does a uh, scoreboard by the way, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with number seven, I think, because I like number seven, and it fits my battle with Hardy. So let's go for battle start, and I bring the same NU teams I think I used last time, mainly because I didn't want to go through and change my team, but it worked pretty well. I've got some big threats on my team, so we'll see how this goes. Who's he got? Luminion, Lampant, but of course he's got the battery. Ratcake, Quilladin, and Crocodile. I don't have anyone with knockoff. Yeah, although Crocorock is going to be stopped big time by uh, Weezing. I've got a big type uh, matchup advantage thing here, I guess. Hmm. Who should I lead with? I could get Rocks up. He's got a Defogger. If I start off with Billy Bob, he can't sleep out of me. So I'm thinking I might do that. If he wants to lead a Butterfree, that's fine. He can't hit me with uh, Luminion with any water moves because obviously Storm Drain. I think Billy Bob's a good lead. I think Billy Bob's a good lead. He might actually set up rocks. Oh, he could set up like spikes with Quinlan actually. And I'm pretty sure it gets Stealth Rock as well. Anyway, never mind, Hardy. I'm looking forward to this so much. This should be a good game. Good luck, have fun, dude. Good luck, have fun. That Lampard stops my Typhlosion. I just realised. Peach. Rackate! Oh dear, that's not good. Uh, Rackate can't do anything to me. He might protect. I'll let him get his little orb off, his little flame orb. He might even U-turn here. He should, I mean, this is a free turn set of rocks, so if he doesn't bring in Butterfree right now, he has got Defog on Luminion though. Location, Anguilla. Where the hell is that? That is not where he lives. I'm pretty sure it's not where he lives, but never mind. I'm, I'm liking my matchup so far. He's thinking. He does go into... It's got to be into Butterfree. He's got to go into Butterfree here. Baymax. He doesn't bring in Butterfree. Okay. Stealth Rock it is. Now he's probably going to set up his own spikes. So, I think I'm, what I'm going to do here is... Uh... Switch into Swellow. And that'll stop him. I mean, if he wants to put up rocks, that's fine. I get a nice free switch. I get my Toxic Orb activated on Mr. Swellow here. And I can Brave Bird something. He hasn't got anything that resists it, I don't think. It's the Toxic. That's perfectly fine. Because I am the well, one Toxic Orb anyway, so. Something's going to get hurt by a Brave Bird. Well, I'm expecting a switch into Crocorock, probably. So I'm going to U-turn to keep some uh, switch initiative. Oh, he protects. Okay. Well, he'll know I'm not choiced. I'm going to go for a Brave Bird straight up next turn. Toxic Stalling Quillet in. As if. Right, Brave Bird, let's go. Nothing's going to appreciate this on his team. Absolutely nothing. He might have to just sack this thing off. Because honestly, he want to keep... he want to keep Luminion, because obviously Luminion's got Defog. And Butterfree can't do anything. Although Butterfree can't do much when... Um, 
Butterfree Lily's around anyway. He could sack off the Butterfree. Oh, he's sacking this thing off. He'll probably live because the Violet is like amazing. If he leaves seeds here, I'll hard switch on the next turn expecting a protect. Oh my god, that does so much damage. Leech Seed, there it is. Oh, he misses! Ooh, that's good. Right, he's going to protect this next turn. Just watch. Watch him protect just for that toxic damage. And then, then what can I do? I can get a free switch into Gramble, you know? He's going to protect. He's going to protect here. Plus, I want to keep Swellow. I've got enough, even if he gets rocks up, I should be able to, like, get one hit off. He might actually even Synthesis. Oh, no, he won't have Synthesis if he's running Leech Seed. There's the Protect. The cool bit. Now, what moves do I have? Ice Punch. Sure. I'm Assault Vest. He's obviously not going to want to stay in. One Evolution. Hardy, what are you doing with one Evolution? He can't be very far into the game. Grambles. Grambles got this. It's got, I mean, I've got Play Rough, Earthquake, Thunder Punch, and Ice Punch. Thunder Punch and Ice Punch alone, I think, hit everything neutral. I believe. Don't quote me on that. But I think that's what happens. He's thinking. Grambles a bulky motherfucker. What's he switching into? He's got very big ice weak it's big. Okay. He's going to try and burn me. He might even have the flame body. The thing is, I could switch into, um... Uh, who do I, I could go to Typhlosion and expect the obvious will o but then it, I can't do anything in return. So I'll tell you what I'll do. Swellow. Shadow Ball will not hit. will o will not affect me. And then I can use her. Oh, what? He just goes over here. Shit. Oh, man. This is where I wish I had Flash Fire. <laughs> Damn it. Swellow was useful. Swellow was very useful. I honestly thought it would be a Violet defensive. Uh, overheat, fair enough. Samurai can come in. And something's gonna die. War Absorb Luminion is a thing. So I'm gonna go for the gra Oh, Hydro Pump. I'm gonna go for the Grass Knot. Right, he withdraws into Luminion, obviously. I am mixed. Big Terror, question mark. There's the Luminion. I expected this. I don't know if Grass Knot's gonna do much, though. I am max special attack. Prediction is real. After leftovers, though, I don't know if it will kill. I don't think it will. But the prediction was there. The prediction was there. And now the superpower. It might outspeed me. Essentially. Don't defog, please. Superpower will kill, hopefully, from here. Because Samurai is power. Life orb, superpower. This thing's going to be specially defensive, I think, too. A defog. Superpower, please kill him. No defog for you. No, he lived. Oh, that sucks so much. Tailwind. Oh, what? No. No, 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 no. Bad. 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 He's going to defog this turn, isn't he? Is he? I'm going to grass knot. He might U turn. But if he does. Ah, right, he doesn't default, that's fine. Let's get the burn. He doesn't. Oh, I should have gone into Cray Dilly. Grass Nut will kill him, though. That's fine, it's gone. That's his potential default, are gone. Samrock put it in the work. This, this is quite a close battle, actually. Even though his Quilladin is so weak. Bubble. Here it is. I am going straight into Cray Dilly. Not playing any games. You are not putting me to sleep. I'm sorry, but you are not doing this to me. If it comes down to Typhlosion versus Lampin, I lose. Because I think my hidden power might be ice. No sleep powders today. It doesn't affect me. In which case, I'm going to go for the Toxic. If he wants to start um, Quiver Dancing me, that's fine. He draws. Does Quilladin doesn't get uh, rapid speed, does it? Baymax, okay, you're gonna get hurt by Toxic. It hits, which is good. 
So he's going to try and toxic me. So I'm going to make the switch into Weezing here. Because the toxic is obvious. He, could, he can't, he will not leech seed. I'm pretty confident of that. So let's switch into Weezing. And if he does make the play, then fair play. But I'll just kill him on the next turn afterwards. And if he has Synthesis, then well, shit. That's how he does though. Does he get for Toxic? He does. I'm bringing in Weezing. I ain't playing around. And he dies. Okay. So I think that's his. There is Wolves gone. I just need Lampen gone. That's all I need gone, and then Typhlosion can overheat everything. Apart from Scarf, what's his face? Heat, what's this? Raticate, okay. You're gonna get Flame Orb or Toxic Orb or something. Let's just Sludge Bomb. See if he protects. He does. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Weezing is honestly probably like. Oh no, I need to keep Weezing for that. Uh, crocodile. Don't I? And Butterfree's pretty much dead. But I don't have any priority on my team, do I? Nope. What's he gonna go for? Facade, probably. So I could Ping Split. Well, I don't think it'll do much. I'm gonna Sludge Bomb. Zen, oh, what? Are you serious? Oh, that didn't do much. Sludge Bomb. Man, I thought Rackate was powerful with Guts, but apparently not. Watch him miss the next Zen Headbutt. I've called it here first. And now he'll get a crit and kill. Sludge Bomb. Facade. Ooh, ooh, this could do, this will do more anyway, won't it? Oh, seven! Ah! Oh man, the Moxie, Moxie um, thing could be a thing. Ah, but I have Gramble, I have Gramble. Gramble can deal with, uh, with things. I wonder if that Butterfree has reached Munchies. Well, there's the Crocorock. Intimidate. Okay, so he's not Moxie actually, so it's not too scary. Let's go for a Willow, just in case he decides to do something crazy. Passerby God is challenging you to a battle. I think not. Oh man, he's thinking, oh, what if this thing went for a Dragon Dance? That'd be scary. So we've got this, Lampen, and Butterfree left. Rock Slide, he hits. Okay, he hits. That could be Choice Scarfed. So what's he got left? Lampen, Butterfree, and this thing. Clay Rough is, is going to kill Ivor. Well, apart from Lampen, maybe. But honestly, I'll just be able to kill it with something. I think Gramble's got this in the bag. Well, they're Butterfree. Draws. Okay, play rough's gonna hurt. Is he is he sacking off? Vic. What's Vic? He's samping up. Sack samping? Sacking it. Samping. Making my own words up now. Play rough. Kills! Even though it's not very effective. No flame body wish is nice. Typhlosion's here. Typhlosion is here. To kill shit. Butterball! Hey yo! Um, is he going to actually sleep out of this turn? I'm going to Thunder Punch, expecting him to predict my switch. How has he only obtained six Pokemon? He does Quiver Dance, the predictions are real. I'm not switching. Thunder Punch. I've got my... I have made plays this game. I have made plays. I didn't even think an Intimidate will save him too much now. I want to use Typhlosion just because I haven't used it. I'll let him get a kill with Earthquake or Knock Off or something on me. I just don't want that Intimidate boost. That boost? Actually, no, I'm going to sack off Samurott. I want to sack off Samurott here. Potentially, I might not even die to it. 
Croc Rook is pretty powerful. Stab Earthquake. He does go for it. Sacking off Samurai. I mean, Samurai isn't the fastest thing. Oh, I die. Well, here comes Typhlosion. <clears throat> Unless this thing's scarfed, then I'll be, then I'll be sad. Then I'll live an earthquake like a kid of a player. As long as I don't miss. That would be bad. Right, let's go for an eruption. If he's scarfed, I'll be. Alright, I'm faster. That's a dead crocodile. Just critical hit, just to end it. Just to make it even worse. <laughs> Good game, Hardy. That was fun. We defeated Hardy. Hooray! Yay! Easy win. I'll bring PE Pokemon against him next time, though. Make it a lot more interesting. I think it's certain Captain. Yes, I'll save that for thumbnail purposes. Hardy, good game. I enjoyed that, dude. Battle video has been saved. Ah, that's fun. It's worth the wait. It's worth the wait. I will bring PU next time. Guys, if you enjoyed this battle, make sure you click the thumbs up button. Obviously, Hardy is pretty well known in the Pokemon community, so uh, you might already be subscribed to him, but I'll leave a link to his channel anyway. Um, so if you guys did like this battle, I would highly recommend you check him out. He does lots of egg locks, or nuzlocke variants, I should say, and he's really entertaining. He's not your general, uh, yeah, so let's make this switch, so, like, because super effective, because, you know, that's me. He's, he's special, let's put it that way. He's special where he lets all the stupid things happen, and that's why he's so entertaining. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.